Hey everyone, Mr. W here. This lesson is on decimal numbers, uh, understanding tense. So for example, if you have the number one uh, decimal point five, the decimal point in the middle there has a job to separate your whole numbers on the left side, for example, the one with the right side, like the five, which are decimal numbers. Decimal numbers really are just fractions. So for example, do you see that five? That five actually represents the fraction five tenths. So the five, the place value of the five is in the tenths, and that's the focus of our lesson today. We're going to be discussing place value for a little bit, um, how to read tenths in numbers, and then some models. Okay, so, um, in green, you would read that number as 1 and 5 tenths. On the left side, the 1 would represent 1 whole. On the right, that's a fraction of 5 tenths. This would be 2 and 3 tenths. The 2 on the left would represent 2 wholes. The 3 on the right side would represent the fraction 3 tenths. 3 and 6 tenths. The three on the left would be three holes. The six on the right side would represent the fraction of six out of 10 or six tenths. And one more, this would simply be one tenth. You have zero holes in this example, but that one is the fraction one tenth. Okay, let's talk about place value for a moment. And we're gonna start with whole numbers and then we'll get into the tenths in a second, okay? All right. So way back in kindergarten, we all learned when we started to count one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All of those are called one digit numbers and they would have the place value of the ones. Well, at the very bottom, when you're counting, what comes after nine? Well, that would be 10. Notice that the number 10 at the bottom is not a one digit number but that is now two. So it would get another place value because it, the value is going up. That's called the tens place value. And whenever you go up in place value, you're really going up by a value of 10. So it's, for example, right, one times 10 would be 10. If we were then counting by tens, those would be two digit numbers. And for example, 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way down to 90 at the bottom, all of those are two digit. But when you would count the next 10, that would be 100. Notice that that is a three digit. So the, we're adding a place value and the value is going up by 10 each time. So when you're dealing with whole numbers, you're always increasing by a value of 10 for each place value through the thousands and even into the millions. Now, how does that relate to Fractions. What do we do with fractions when we're trying to show place value? How do you show something like one-tenth? How do you deal with computers and calculators that use digital displays? Well, the answer to that question is our decimals. Decimals just show fractions. Now, remember that decimal point on the first slide? That decimal point separates your whole numbers on the left side of the decimal point with your fractions, otherwise called decimals, on the right side. We started with ones when we first learned how to count and we increased through the tens and through all the whole numbers. In a similar way, instead of going up by 10, the other way would be fractions. We would start with tenths, and instead of multiplying by 10, we divide by 10. So for example, the one, right, divided by 10, zero decimal point one would read as one tenth. And so we have our decimal point, and on the right side of that decimal point, we have a new place value called the tenths and that is showing fractions. So if we wanted to show one-tenth, we wouldn't write it like that, right, with a numerator and denominator, because that wouldn't work with our digital display, but we would show that as zero decimal point one, or in other words, one-tenth. And you would have a similar way of two-tenths and three-tenths and four-tenths, five, all the way down through your nine-tenths, and you would continue to add place values, but this time, to the right side, the hundredths, and that would just continue in a similar pattern. Okay, it's important that you do not confuse tens 
and tense. That's a common problem because they're spelled very similar. So let's look at that for a second. Remember that tens are on the left side of your decimal point. Tenths are on the right side. Tens would be whole numbers, but tenths would be fractions, or in other words, decimals. When you count by tens, it would be 10, 20, 30, 40, and count like that. But tenths would be one-tenth and two-tenths, three-tenths and four-tenths, and would be very different. So please don't confuse tens with tenths. And the TH in tenths is something important that we look at. Okay, so reading numbers with decimals, the rule is that you just name the place value. And let me show you what I mean. So for example, one and five tenths. Notice that the five is in the tenths place value. Four and two tenths. Seven tenths. Fifteen and three tenths. Four tenths. Let's just look a couple more. Nine and one tenth. 5 tenths, 12 and 9 tenths, 6 and 4 tenths, 24 and 8 tenths. Okay, let's look at some model. This would just represent one whole, and you can see that those are 10 sections there. Each represents 1 tenth, right? Well, if we were to add those all up, that would equal a total of 10 tenths. Now remember, 10 tenths would represent a whole fraction and that would be equal to one whole. That would just be one whole, but remember we're talking about decimals, right? So we really would see that as one decimal point zero with the zero being in the tenths. Now that's important when we look at the rest of our models. We'll let's see if we can get rid of these guys. And let's try a few more. Okay, I'm seeing five tenths this time. And if we express that as a decimal, you would read that as 0 decimal point 5, or in other words, 5 tenths. I'm counting, looks like about 9 tenths, right? Which we would express as 9 tenths in decimal form. Did you count three? So three tenths we would express as zero decimal three, or in other words, three tenths. Great. A couple more. Three and four tenths, because we have three holes, and then that last one to the right side would just be four tenths. So three and four tenths. The gray part would represent, I see, one whole to the left side and two tenths. So that would be one and two tenths. I'm seeing six holes. And then to the right side, I'm seeing eight out of ten, so six and eight tenths. And one more. I'm counting 8 out of 10, or in other words, 8 tenths. All right, thanks for watching, and we will see you on the next one.